So now I'm going to discuss my back testing strategies. What I've done for the back testing, um, I looked at the P.E. ratio as it relates to the earnings growth for this year and the earnings growth in five years. My hypothesis was that um, the higher the P.E. ratio, um, was it more earnings, earnings growth? So I evaluated this in a couple of steps. So this here is my raw, raw data. So in this regression analysis that I ran, I ran the P.E. ratio as it relates to uh, one year earnings. So as you can see, um, it is a negative relationship between the two and it has no significance here at a point two three it is higher than the level of significance usually a point zero zero one means it's very significant point zero five means um that it's moderate significance and point one or above uh standardly means that it is um not significant or weak to no significance. The next analysis I ran was uh, all of the PC, PE ratios up against a the five year earnings. Again, um, we see the negative relationship um, between the PE ratio and the five year earnings. The T stat is um, 0 0.08 which typically we look for T stats to be at 2 or above um, also um, the P value here is 0 0.42 again shows weak to no significance in standard regression analysis and statistics we will look at the R squared to make a determination point here, the point the R square is 0 0.023. But again, for this type of regression analysis, we aren't looking at the R square nor the F stat, which we usually like to see that number at, at 75 or above. So what I did further was went a step further just to see if the P.E. ratios that were under 24, how they would go up against the uh, one year earnings. And as we can see, the relationship now between the two is a positive relationship. But yet again, that P value is at 0.9, which shows uh, no significance. And the T stat is at a 0 0.08, which again uh, signifies no significance as it relates to P.E. ratio in earnings. And here I ran the P.E. ratios that were 24 and above the, uh, with the, against the five-year earnings. And the five-year earnings and P.E. ratios have a negative relationship. And this p-value is lower um, at a 0 0.17. But again, at a 0 0.1, 0 0.1, as it relates to p-value, that shows little to no significance or weak significance. And the t-stat here is... Uh, negative 1.43 which is a lot closer to the number two as than the other um than the other relationships as we've been seeing on the regression analysis but still yet it does not reach the level of significance to say that the pe ratios has um any type of correlation with with one or five year earnings and this concludes my back testing strategies.